the bases with us to start the week. The Dodgers are rolling. Julio Arias looked flawless. 12 strikeouts, seven innings, zero walks. The lineup is relentless. When you watch them play, it is one professional hitter after another. They've got the arms for days. We don't know about Walker Bueller and when he's coming back. Dero is saying Dave Roberts can't count on that, but perhaps that's kind of something they're thinking about. They are prime for October as we welcome you back inside. They're so darn good. The Dodgers, when you watch them play, what stands out? Well, it's amazing to me. I mean, they lobbed 50 million off in the winter. We many criticized them wow, for their yeah. trade deadline where Eduardo Rodriguez decided he'd rather be in Detroit than Los Angeles. They didn't get the big stars yeah. that they were gunning for, and here they are. And Julio Urias having that game, that is huge for them because, I mean, he's one of the best pitchers in the game. And, I mean, their offense has carried them, but look at the pitching talent that they have. Kershaw's healthy. Obviously, he's probably the best pitcher in 30 years or something like or more. Uh, Urias, one of the best pitchers in the game. Bueller, you just mentioned, if he comes back, Gonsolin had a big start, his last start, so he's looking on track. I mean, we kind of wrote off the Dodgers because of their winter in which they were kind of preparing. We thought to maybe sign Otani, and maybe they will, but right now they look as good as anybody with maybe the exception of the Braves. And do they have the arms to get through October? I mean, Eduardo Rodriguez would have been a big time. And that happened right at the deadline. A lot of people said, oh, you should have had another deal. And that was minutes to they go. They put Joe Kelly on the injured list. On the injured list so this weekend. So maybe that's the only thing that is kind of going wrong right now. Some of those young guys have pitched well. Really uh, well. Bobby Miller is got yes. electric stuff. And, and, you know, and they're getting Blake uh, Trining. Uh, Trining. I, I hope yeah. I'm saying that mm -hmm. right. They're getting him back. Um, you know, for this September run as well, that's going to strengthen that bullpen. And those young kids that have, uh, have mixed in, they can come out of the bullpen as well. The Dodgers, Dave Roberts and Andrew Friedman deserve so much credit for this sustained long run that they have been on. Yeah. I played many years with Dave Roberts, just a, a tremendous guy and tremendous leader of men. And he has proven that um, shoot, his managerial career is going to end up being Eclipse in his playing career with yeah. what, what, what they're doing. So they're primed and ready. I think they're hungry after I was, I was there in that San Diego um, stadium when they got sent home. It was not uh, a fun day to be a Dodger. I think they're poised and ready and proven a lot of people wrong. You know, it started with Gavin Lux. When he went out in, in spring training, we went, oh, gosh, this might be the year that we watch the Dodgers fall out of it. Has not been the case. I was reading a Sports Illustrated article about Walker Bueller expecting to face pro hitters soon, but it was reporting that he could make changes to his mechanics. We, we're not sure if that's true, but that's what their, the report was. And I'm so curious because of, if, because of injuries. If you can look at mechanics and say, because Garrett Cole has said, and people have said about him, that he's very durable because of his mechanics. Can you look at a guy and say, he's going to be healthy for the duration of his career? And I, is, that, is it an eye test or no? It's not as simple as that. I don't think it's as simple as that. It's you know, not. It, 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 we talked about the Dodgers, their pitching coach. I think back to Mark Pryor. Tom House built, I don't know of anybody who had better mechanics than Mark Pryor. Uh. And so was it his fault that he couldn't stay healthy? And no, yeah. you know, um, Rodon, you, you know, somebody big and, and has nice mechanics, so the lefty hasn't been able to quite stay healthy. I don't know. Here's what I will tell you is I went from San Diego to Chicago with an ankle injury, and I, I didn't know this, um, but I just changed teams and coaching staffs. And, and because I was on a hobbled ankle, my arm angle went different. Wow. You know, it ended up coming up about almost a foot from, from about right here to right here. How did it affect you? Well, I tore my lat completely off of the mm -hmm. bone oh. starting in 2010. I got trained wow. over late in 2009. So every little move that you make, your body is used to doing things. I, I'm sure the technology and everything that Walker has at his disposal is they're making educated decisions sure. yeah. in, in the Dodger land. They're getting the best out of everybody. But to me, it's an eye test, and I don't know if you can ever say, oh, this guy's going to stay healthy or he's not. We need to see him but, in October, that's for sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, let's talk about, let's stay in, so in Southern California. Let's talk about the uh, the Angels. Shohei Otani is scheduled, is, will miss his next scheduled start this coming week against the Rangers, John. Yeah. Um, there's nothing health-wise other than he's just tired. <laughs> Well, I can't blame him. At, exactly. at this point, I'm going to say it's about time. I mean, starting with the WBC, this guy has gone uh, at all cylinders, offensively, defensively. The guy runs. I mean, he's the greatest player I've ever seen, and I'm fairly old or seasoned, as you guys said earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing, and, uh, you know, it's one start. It's not going to make a huge difference. 
I'm sure he's fine. It seems like everything's okay for the yeah. future, but uh, it's just an incredible season. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a season like this. Well, the Astros are I trying to chase. I do not blame him for taking one start off. The Astros are trying to chase down the Rangers, and they're like, wait, Otani's not going to pitch against the Rangers on Wednesday? <laughs> By the way, he has not missed a game since May 2nd. Look, John just made a great point. Being ready to go in, in the World Baseball Classic is a different animal. This guy was at his peak, and we saw that versus Mike Trout ending that. That probably plays yeah. into the fact. And he said the Angels on his – the Angels have got other big-time players that haven't been out there this guy's had their entire team yeah. on both sides of the ball on his back right hey real quick let's talk about what the Nationals did yesterday we talked about the big comeback wins uh, by the uh, by the Miami Marlins but they had a big walk-off win in their own right they come all the way back to beat the Oakland A's in the ninth inning they now have four walk-offs in their last seven home games John we've talked about the future for the Nationals yeah. Maybe a little bit brighter than than maybe some people would would believe. Initially. Yeah, I mean they set themselves up great with that originally with that trade certainly with Juan Soto getting five guys back. C.J. Abrams looks like a player at short. Gore is certainly a mainstay for the rotation probably for the next decade if they keep him. And uh, obviously Wood is one of the top five prospects in the game. Another a future Willie McCovey they say I haven't seen him play in person but looks fantastic on paper and. They've got a good thing going. They've got youth and enthusiasm and, uh, you know, they're a little bit anonymous right now, but they shouldn't be because yeah. they're, they're pretty good. And, Jake, real quick, what does that do for a young ball club? Like well, it's a, you, you learn how to win. Yeah. There, there's, you're developing your skills at the big league level, but you're learning how to win these tight games. That builds confidence. Davey Martinez, another great manager, doing a fine job.